Hello again, everyone. It is your Black Knight. I've been busy. I'm working a little bit on this rework of Oberlin Station. It's still... Well, it's still a little bit slapped together. I mean, just a little bit. But not as much as it had been. Let me give you a quick tour. Up here, I can't add anything else. We're outside the, the construction box. Can't pull up the, the workspace here if we you know, we want to. But we've got our recruitment beacon back on. Because we've got enough, enough of everything for everybody going. Here we can... First of all, let's check out the view. And this is what I was talking about. This space, I thought, had so much potential for a, a great view. It's just lovely. Maybe I should... Uh, this exit out of the uh, bridgeless. You can see a little more clearly. Well, really, kind of. As far as you know, completely annihilated wastelands are concerned. What a great view you get from Overland Station. You can plan any kind of trek you want from here. There you got your. The brewery over there, you got SATCOM up that way, we've got a dam. Or is that the Bean Brothers Brewery, whatever it is, I don't know, but there's stuff. You can see one of my caravans going up the road. An abandoned car over here. Yeah, a little bit of, you know, some things, there's one of the defensive fortifications I put in. It's a bit derivative from, from Oxhorn's basic design, but it's not exactly the same. It's a little more robust, as you might want to say. A little more, a little tougher looking. A little less, perhaps less elegant. But I think it will do the job. We have a couple of those. Let me get back in my suit here so I don't fall off the face of the earth here and crush my ankles. So that's what would happen in reality. We're not dealing with reality now. We're dealing with fallout reality. We're dealing with... I don't even know what those things are. Not a bad place to launch from. Come in here now. Here we have a little bit... I haven't got anyone assigned to that. Are you, um... You're unassigned. Okay. Okay. You're gonna you're gonna be the bartenderess here. Alrighty then. Well, we have a bartenderess. Is that even a word? We have a bit of a rec room, so we can get a little bit of. We have a vault tech population thing going. We can find jobs for the unemployed. Let's see, we can assign one to defense. I'll put somebody on the gun. I have an artillery post. Let's see, we can put somebody on the clothing store. Randomly generated. I don't know how many um, weapon store. Oh, I don't have anybody else unemployed. Okay, we have to wait a little while. Everybody's employed. I'm hitting the wrong button, the right, right, wrong button. Okay, so. We did send some people away. We got down from like 18 to like 12 or something like that. Bumped some people up down a covenant. I was really going to clear the place out to begin with, but then I thought, eh, no. Uh, here we have just the bunk area. It is, you know, kind of Spartan. But I do have some extra comfy beds for the people who are mostly already here and then if we need to go above and beyond we've got bedding for up to basically 40 people plus with a couple of beds that are down there that came with the things oh we got a gap a gap there you can peek through there i don't know how that happened it happens when you're piecing these things together you may have to patch that up at some point figure something out It'll be part of the dressing up of everything here we have, again, this basically this is the entrance to the main living quarters, and there is a door. So we can seal that up at the gap. 
There is a bathroom. If they need privacy. There you go. Ah, here's our defensive person. She's looking, you know, very, you know, robust there. Got the leather going. She's good with tape. I don't remember the last time I had, had some cute pants going there. That's... We'll have to get you some better clothes. We'll, we'll work on all that. Get you some better armor. Since you're a defensive uh, person here. So at least I have an artillery piece. We've got multiple guns. Because I know down that way you do get some, some spawns. Usually right over that way, too, on the other side of the defensive tower, there's some stuff that spawns. But let's, uh, let's go downstairs. So let's, let's sneak around the side. Here, of course, we have our vault turbo-powered power generator, which is probably pretty heavily under -tasked. Got some lasers going in through here. Laser, 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 laser. It's not really enough. I mean, it's not a very big... Easy to so, I mean, there's not a lot of room here. Here we have what would, would be like an area for the train to go through in case we ever get... I have to clear this away so the train tracks will work. It's debris, but... In the meantime, it should be a nice place for um, caravans to go through. We can have stuff going through there. Or they'll just hit this part and then freak and then turn back around. I'm not sure which it's going to be. If we walk around the back side... A gun. Some power just for the water. We switch over from the hand pumps to the automatic pumps. And a few missile barrages along the way. We've got a bunch of carrots. Out here. It's good for you your eyes. Hey, settler. Yeah. Guns and carrots and carrots and guns and more guns. And look at this thing just float. Isn't that just great? Yeah. We have all the stores are now represented. The farming is what it always kind of was. This is you know, how we set it up originally. I haven't really done anything with that. I did move this other way so we can get this wall down so at least we don't have a cow stuck in the wall anymore. Uh, everything's the same going up here. You still have... Ah, there's a cow. Cow here for no reason. There is a bed there. Right there. We do have another gun tower right here, so if anything's happening on this end, it won't happen for very long. You can see guns, guns. Backing up to about here, you get a pretty good feel for the whole, again, once again, MC Escherness of the whole thing. I'm tempted to run a bunch of walls down at the bottom just so it get, it's not completely unsupported but i do like to have some visual reminders that this is a completely unreal universe you know you get, it's good i think good to keep you grounded in the fact that all this is silly and if we were really wandering at you know some kind of destroyed landscape well, we wouldn't be having nearly as much fun fallout's its own thing and we have that going for us I think. Boost up here. Hold this. Some bank cards over there. Let's boost. And there we have it. Pop out of this too. For a little while. Some of it to store my new observations. I don't know why that happened. I just hit the wrong buttons. Now, am I done with it? No, 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 no. Obviously, you have to do some some decor, more decorating, makes it look all cooler, give it a little more personality. But at least, you know, as far as this update's concerned, I think we've gotten everything we've gotten. We we'll have to get back into the suit and then. Uh, I don't know what to say. Come on, enter. We want to look at the stats. We have stats and. Scooby Dooby. Yes, Power Man, if you look at the stat there 12 people, 36 food, 73 water, 605 power, 490 defense. We should put up another couple more guns just to get that to 500 for the heck of it, right? 
40 beds. Happiness is 69 and on the rise. I think uh, I think we're good. Here. I mean, just a, a few more little touches to make it a little more homey. I think uh, I think we'll be right there. On that note, ladies and gentlemen, this is your black guy. Have a great night.